Yo, what is up, guys? This guy goes here. has another episode of my Minecraft series. Today we're on Skyblock again for our second episode. It's been a while. Uh, I do apologize for that. She <laughs> claim exp. We're gonna enchant a sword. No, we're not. <laughs> but um, it's been a while, and I decided that I'm gonna continue the series because it is a good series. You know, I only have one episode. But I'm gonna continue this because I can't. I don't. Want, I'm not a big fan of vlogs. I, I don't like showing my face on the internet. I mean, it, my face is on the internet. It's out there. Well, I'm not gonna give you the links. I'm not gonna give you my name. I'm not gonna give you the titles. I don't want you guys to see my face. My beautiful few, especially because those those faces of me are um, really outdated and old, like seven years old. But um, I'm not a big fan of vlogs, and I'm not a big fan of just uh, doing update videos, just doing whatever. So I decided I want to make this series a series, but a series where I talk to you guys and build. You know, there's a lot of people that like Skyblock, and then there's the other people that like talking. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I got a couple topics to talk about. Um, you know, a couple of them. The typical, how was your Easter? Mine was good. I, uh, I, um, uh, I was chilling with my fam. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering, which you aren't, I know you aren't. <laughs> Thanks for caring. <laughs> um, I didn't get anything. Uh, I got some chocolate bunnies and some candy and things like that, but it's Easter, it's not Christmas. I turned my Facebook on one morning. On Easter morning to see a bunch of people with, oh, got new phone, oh, got new makeup, oh, got a whole new wardrobe, oh, <laughs> it's like, oh my fuck, parents, what are you going on about? It's Easter. <laughs> it's literally like five months after Christmas, like, <laughs> and for me, it's January, February, March, April, so it's in April, so it's... January, February, March. It's two. <laughs> oh, I gotta love me and my smartness. Two months after my birthday, and um, meaning that that'd be like four or five months after Christmas. So, of course, me getting money and shit for my birthday and after Christmas and things like that. Easter is never a big holiday for me. And you know, I guess some people. Um, I guess maybe their Christmas and their birthday or, you know, some people's birthdays aren't in February, January, or March. <laughs> but uh, for me, uh, December, my birthday, so not December, uh, Christmas, my birthday, those are the big holidays for me. And then Easter is just sort of, yeah, I get two days off of school, GG. But uh, for other people, it's um, kind of ridiculous. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so my Easter was great. Thanks for asking. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed your guys' Easter. And maybe you're the type of person that got a new phone or some shit for Easter. And if you did, good for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to piss myself when somebody got a phone for Easter and they're watching this video on their phone and they just dislike my video <laughs> for saying shit about them. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, that brings up a good point. <laughs> you guys can watch my videos on phones that you got for Easter. So, I'm happy. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed your Easter, and hopefully you spent time with your family, and if you didn't, um, I'm hopefully you spent time with your loved ones and your friends and things like that, because you know what? Sometimes friends or loved ones aren't... Well, sometimes loved ones aren't always family. Sometimes they're a close personal friend, for example, a teacher. I'm talking really close. Like I'm talking, you you spend some Thanksgiving dinners with them and their family. But uh, yeah, so if you didn't spend time with your family, hopefully you had a good time with your friends or whoever it may be. Another thing I want to talk about is the Justin Bieber roast. And I haven't seen a lot of people talk about that on YouTube, surprisingly. But I watched the full length of it, and uh, it was pretty funny. I think I'm not quite sure of her name. It's either Natalie or Natasha. Either one works, in my opinion. <laughs> I think she, her, and Jeff Ross, I believe his name is, 
I, I don't know his name, Jeff Ross and Natasha or Natalie, I think they just absolutely killed it. Like, they killed it. Oh, man. I, had, I pissed myself on two different occasions <laughs> for each of their jokes. <laughs> oh, by far, by far, the best out of all the people that were there. And Kevin Hart was really good, too. Kevin Hart, honestly, Kevin Hart, even though he's black... <laughs> <laughs> he is honestly a role model for me because he is so funny and he's made it so like I'm white but he's black you know so it's a weird it's weird for a white person to say a black person's their idol um, and he's not my idol um, I don't really have an idol to be honest well not one that I can think of right now but um, he's I like him All right, he's one of my favorite uh celebrities at the moment so I think that's kind of cool that I can but uh, yeah so he was he was pretty funny I was actually kind of disappointed <laughs> Ludacris and uh, Snoop Dogg weren't as good as I thought they would be the two rappers <laughs> the two most likely to destroy a person you know, they're black, they're rappers, and whatever. Like, the funniest thing that happened, including them, was them being roasted. <laughs> well, but that was cool. Shaq, Shaq was good. Um, of course, for those of you who didn't watch it, I'm pro I probably sound like an idiot. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> I'm sorry, well, go watch it then. It's your fault, not mine. <laughs> Shaq was there, and I'm pretty sure he picked, Justin Bieber picked who he wants to be roasted by. Martha Stewart was there. Uh, that was a fun one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that was that. One thing that happened to me today um, was I got to pick my grade 10 course. So if you guys didn't know, I'm grade 9, so I'm a junior. Not a junior, I'm a uh, freshman. Freshman, I think they are. In Canada, we don't say that. We don't use freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior. We just say grade 9 because we're sophisticated like that. I know in the States, that's a big thing. But, uh, like, that's that's the normal. But down here, if somebody calls you a freshman, a sophomore, senior, junior, whatever, you got something wrong with you. Because <laughs> people are going to ask questions what those are. Freshman grade 9, sophomore grade 10, junior grade 11, and senior grade 12. Don't know if I got that completely right. I keep coming up here looking for blocks. I don't, wait, I don't see what I want. <laughs> Take this down, I guess. Eat some logs. But uh, yeah, so I picked my courses, and I'll do a little run-through of which courses I chose, and then I'll just go through what each of them are and why I chose them. Uh, so just going down the list, I have Academic Math, I have Extended Core French, um, so that covers two classes, actually, that's Extended Core French, that's uh, Mud de Viective, so that's um, Healthy Living and things like that. It's it's kind of like a PR class. You need one PR class to graduate, but I'm getting off topic. Um, I have that. I have biology and science, 10. And I think that's it. Let's see, academic math, two science creds, English, English. I have English, academic math, extended core French, and mode of active, so health skill trades and that's it that's it for this year so just going through over them uh, academic math it's not to brag you know academic usually means you're smart not to brag because I'm not smart um, 90 percent of the students get into academic math it's you know it's like a 80 above average um, which I, I have a 92 average, I think, in math. So that's what academic math is. So it's nothing fancy, just a normal math. And then there's math math at work and math essentials. So math essentials is the lowest you can go. That's if you're failing every single test. Like, if that's if you're failing math, honestly. Like, that's some 2 plus 3 shit is what essentials is. Not to make fun of everybody, because I know some people can't do that. 
but uh, that's what that is and there's that but I'm an academic because I'm a smart cookie when it comes to mathematics <laughs> no, I'm just kidding I'm an eight, I'm averaging 80 close to the 90s on tests I think the only thing really getting me by right now is a few 90s that I got last term but that's the only thing keeping my average up and I don't know what I want to do there I'll just keep it like that uh, so extended core French I've always been into uh, the French language I've always spoken it not always spoken it I don't know if I was a little child but when I was two years old my mother and I well my mother moved me or her and me to Quebec. So Quebec's a city, not a city, a province in Canada. Because, <laughs> and that's probably the reason I've been in French all my most all my life. Because she's always been wanting to go to Quebec. And Quebec's a French-speaking province. So that's probably why I always have been into the French. And when that that, that didn't work out for long. Um, which is unfortunate, it'd be sick to live in Quebec. Well, that didn't work out, and some things came up for my mother, so my grandmother actually adopted me. Well, not necessarily my grandma, my grandparents, my grandfather and my grandmother. Well, my grandfather passed away 2010, which is unfortunate. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that happened, and then they put, they, I was always enrolled. I was enrolled once... I'm getting my stuff. <laughs> I'm getting my story mixed up here. When things didn't work out in Quebec with my mom, um, we moved back and we lived up the street from my grandparents. But that didn't work out either because she was having trouble with a job. So my grandparents adopted me, and when they did that, I was al already enrolled into a French school. So. Um, my grandparents decided it would be best if I stayed in it, so I did. And I was in that until I was, I think, until I was 12. Because in grade, grade 7, I left there when I was grade 7 to, to go into the school um, in my town. <laughs> in three years... Um, I've been in that's my current school for three years, and in the French program for each year, uh, including my grade nine year, and um, so yeah, so I've always been in the French. So I chose French because of that, and that's why I'm a French person. I probably didn't have to go into that much detail, but I <laughs> I gotta finish this off, and I have nothing else to talk about. <laughs> being completely honest. Um, so that's that, and then obviously has my French, my uh, not my French, my uh, health. So that's that's just a normal thing. You need health. It's in French because there's nothing else I could go in French besides that, and then a normal French class. And next year, <laughs> next year, <laughs> grade eleven. I'll be taking Canadian studies, but that's going to be in French. So the reason I'm in French to begin with is because Canadian studies in English is the hardest fucking subject that ever existed in any era of school. Like, it's so messed up. It's so difficult. Um, so the reason French is a good idea for anybody that was in the French program the year before is because Canadian studies is easy as, like, anything. You don't even have tests in Canadian studies in French. Like, our teacher was, like, debating on whether or not to give us an exam. Because it was one of those exams that you don't really need, but you should do. But, like, that's just how easy that, that subject is in French. So, that was just a definite hell yes for me. Um... At first, proofs. I think so. <laughs> Fuck. I'll have to plant some. So yeah, I took that, and then everything else pretty 
English, it's you have to take English no matter what. I think that has something to do with your GED if you don't make like if you don't go to school and shit. And I also think that has something to do with you being prepared for the real world. So learning how to write a resume and things, and you don't even learn that honestly. English is a joke. All you do is read stories and tell tell a teacher whether or not Johnny was alive or dead at the time. You know, honestly, I wish English was a more of a you know more of a class where you learn how to pay taxes. You learn what taxes are. I mean, everybody knows what taxes are, but you know what I mean. You learn, you know, what's a down payment on a house good for? What's, uh, you know, how often, what's a good way to find work? Where can I find work? How do I know what work I want? You know, things like that. But anyways, I've been ranting on for the past 20 minutes, so I hope you guys enjoy this episode. We pretty much just put this little chest room. I have to move everything down to there and put signs on everything to mark what's mine. Planning on building a little house here. I'm going to raise this up, do a little like roof where it goes down like this, like this, like that, and then like that. You know, so it goes down on each side. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. And then I'll work off of that. But I hope you guys in, like what I did or what my plans for the series are, just to talk to you guys about anything I want in in the world, whether it's something that bothers me, whether it's something that doesn't bother me, whether it's something about you guys, about YouTube, about the world, about news, anything like that, I can just talk about it while doing work. One thing I tend to do is I tend to walk around like this a lot and just have no, <laughs> no actual clue on what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you haven't already, leave a like comment what you thought about my discussion, my topics, and what you guys think about it, and put your input and your opinion in. Anyways, peace out. See you in the next one.